guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you're all doing super well. So today I'm coming to you with a fashion video. Yay! And I thought I would share my go-to at-home comfy cozy outfits. We are in quarantine, we're in lockdown, well not quarantine, but we are, there is a pandemic out there and I was spending a lot of my time at home, which I'm sure is the case for the majority of people who are also still working from home and I guess it gets a little bit tricky when you work from home so there's essentially no need to dress up but at the same time wearing something that is a little bit more substantial or feels more substantial makes you feel more percept receptive to being productive if you're not I'm trying to say. I've managed to strike this balance between being comfortable but being in attire that is appropriate for the house. I'm someone who receives a lot of deliveries every day and so it's not ideal to go to the door in no bra and do pajamas still. But you at least want to be able to just feel and look presentable on the daily in items that are comfortable yet stylish. So this is what this video is about and I'm going to start off with my go to um, a tie which is what I'm wearing right now you can catch me in this Monday through Wednesday okay I'm in some sort of variation of joggers and a top so um, these joggers I've got from Superbulous I believe these are just the normal Superbulous joggers um, and I got two pairs because I knew that I would wear them every other day I got them during um, when we were sort of heavy lockdowns last year and I needed you know at home wear and it was winter and I needed something warm to wear and then the bodysuit I got from Zara, I also got this in every single color just because I knew that I would wear this all the time and it's just something that is easy to slip on. I don't necessarily tie it at the bottom but um, the material is really great. So that's one of my favorite um, at home lockdown looks, comfy looks and if you wanted to, you could dress this up even more if you have you know a cute pair of leather um like joggers here these i got from asos a couple of years ago and these are great because they have an elastic waistband so they're comfortable and it's uh oversized jogger so you don't feel restrained or restricted the material is more on the formal side because it is leather like so you definitely look a lot more put together and the pockets are really convenient so this is also one of my favorite at home pieces this is something i would definitely gravitate towards as we get into autumn um you guys have seen me talk about these pants for a long time and asos has so many variations of leather joggers so i'm going to pick up a few new pairs for this autumn winter season but um i don't think these i think these for me are a staple in a wardrobe and they are obviously ideal for out of the house, but I'm just saying that you could wear this at home too and still feel put together, uncomfortable, and ready to tackle the day. Okay, next up is a true cord set. And I got this from Me and B, and Me and B is available on Superbulous. These are some cream jogger trousers that I picked up, which I think are great. Um, they run a little bit on the small side. I don't know if I should have gotten a size a bit bigger. Maybe if they have more in stock, I will look into just getting another pair. I really like the color. It's this like off-white or cream, which is my favorite color right now in everything, in interiors, in clothes. And then I, I also picked up the matching hoodie as well with this. So this is definitely for the colder days in Cape Town. Our weather really tends to fluctuate. If it's a bit rainy where you are, I think this could definitely come in handy now already but once again the hoodie is quite lightweight it's not super um, thick so when autumn winter does come along you could still layer this with a polar neck inside and then get really really warm and snuggled up but this is once again a matching cohort set in my opinion is one step to just looking very put together um, it looks well thought out but it's still very effortless and chic and I think just monochromatic looks are the way to go, whether it's at home or outdoors. Number three is another cohort. Like I said, I love cream. This one is a little bit more dressier though. And I've actually worn this out and about to like a brunch and stuff. But 
I still think it is comfortable enough to wear at home and it is this cohort from Zara it's a knit cohort so it has this crop top which is a little bit almost a little bit too cropped for me but if I wear the right bra I can almost get away with it which is making me feel like it's a lot more ideal for the home and then we have the um, matching ribbed knit skirt from Zara as well and I love the buttons in the front these like gold I'm not gold sorry these brown tortoiseshell buttons in the front they go all the way down um, you could unbutton them depending on how much um, leg cabbage or a slit you want um, but um, once again an elastic waistband um, super comfortable to wear during the day and once again a monochromatic cohort that is just looks very put together still very very comfortable for the whole day this is basically the skirt option as opposed to the tracksuit um, and yeah I think skirts in general just make me feel a lot more feminine a lot more I don't know what it is about skirts it just make me feel pretty so um, I like a nice midi skirt so this is why this is in here as well now I know you're gonna be so shocked if I when I tell you um, a pair of jeans so um, I've talked about this in my best purchases of 2020 um, jeans from Cotton On because they just are that comfortable and because I actually do wear these at least three times a week <laughs> um, are these jeans from Cotton On these are, I believe are called the Taylor jeans they are like this oversized sort of boyfriend jeans so already it's not meant to be tight on your legs, on your thighs it's just meant to be loose, sort of like baggy. The waist as well has some elasticity to it, so you're also not feeling constricted around your stomach. I think jeans just obviously take a look to a, a new level. You still maintain a certain level of casualness to your look, but still, I mean, there's nothing more at homey and but still comfy, but still put together like a pair of jeans I think and um, I could pair this with a cream top I don't know what it is about cream I think I'm obsessed with cream <laughs> I'm going through a phase where I'm really into these like creamish um, beige nude colors so just pair this with a pair of jeans obviously you can pair anything with it it can be any color top obviously but um, just something like this I think is great um, like I said before I think I really love skirts because they're just so feminine and they make me feel really pretty and good so if jeans are just out of the question for you I would just say a nice midi skirt this midi skirt is from it's called it's from edit plus um, I bought a size way too big but um, I still love them I, I can always cinch the waist in a little bit it is quite big but um, it's a really nice pleated sort of like terracotta bronze brown midi skirt and I just think it's super once again super comfortable but still you look put together you look dressed up it's not constricting on the waist you don't have to wear spanks it's just sort of open flare pleated midi skirt which is I just think for the height of comfort which we're all about on this channel um so yeah this is definitely a favorite of mine for an at-home comfy outfit idea so yeah and that's it those are my comfy outfits for home things that you can wear if you're still working from home or you are at home because you are choosing to you know quarantine or just be under lockdown because of the pandemic or you just like being comfortable you can wear these outdoors or indoors it doesn't matter let me know which outfit was your favorite if you would style this any different or if there's something you think i missed out on that you guys would um, want to share with everyone else you have comments down below and um yeah i'll see you in my next video thank you for watching